I think male loneliness. When I saw just saw my friend say, "I'm lonely, man. I don't. I didn't realize I'm in my house alone, I'm just exercising, <laughs> working out." And it's funny from like another angle, but I completely relate to this that sentiment. I think male loneliness, the biggest pandemic, even bigger than the pandemic that we suffered for like two, three years. Male loneliness has plagued millions, maybe close to hundreds of millions of men worldwide. And it really, 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 really destroys your soul the more the longer you're in it, the longer you dwell in it. You might see moments of extreme productivity if you're doing monk mode, for example, like monk mode as in one hour of thought per day, exercise for one hour a day, grinding on the thing per day, you know what I'm saying? You might see an insane productivity rise, but the overbearing feeling of loneliness is is insurmountable. Have you like, for example, have you ever just sat down and just stared at your wall and just thought to yourself, "Holy shit, I'm lonely," or "Wow, I'm lonely. I have no one to talk to." I feel that all the time. Genuinely, I feel all the time. It's just, just, you just think about how lonely you are and you just sit down and just in deep contemplation about it. And I think right now I'm feeling that as well, but I've got the camera, I've got you guys, I've got the YouTube. Most importantly, I got. Work to do. After work, I don't know. I think after. I just have infinite amounts of work to do. How come most of us are surrounded with our friends and family in the age of social media and technology that we all feel alone? It's the age of communication. We all feel lonelier than ever. FaceTimes. People don't even FaceTime properly. I remember I was FaceTiming a girl one time. And then, like, she didn't even show her face. So she just showed her roof like this. She put her face flat like this. And I was, I was like a dickhead. I looked like a dickhead for showing my face on FaceTime. Or a, fo- a video call. Fuck is this? I wonder people feel lonely. Everyone's social skills are shit. I'm going to be honest. Everyone's social skills are shit. Of course you feel lonely. Of course you do. Everyone's awkward, anxious, antisocial. I would consider myself a complete extreme extrovert but I do go through moments where I'm extremely introverted I just don't really talk to anyone not willingly if I have the chance to talk to anyone I'll talk all day I'll talk about topics like I find them really interesting I have a wide range of hobbies and interests so I talk about a lot of things but a lot of times I just see myself like Especially with the martial arts and sports I chose, I just if even if I go swimming or gym or something, I just pretty much do it alone. Or I maybe I can find make friends friends in the gym. And if I'm going boxing gym, I made a lot of friends there. But for the most part, a lot of the work I'm just training by myself, skipping by myself, bag by myself, shadow boxing by myself, sparring by myself, and some other dude who's trying to fucking hurt me, running for stamina by myself. In badminton, I was pretty by myself sport as well. There's no badminton scene in the UK unless you're like a super posh, posh person. I remember a quote in Taxi Driver. I haven't watched the movie, but I watched a clip. And in the movie, the guy, I don't know what his name was, but he said something really interesting that I really, really resonated with is that he said, loneliness has followed me in all aspects of my life. In bars, cars, clubs. I'm God's lonely man. And I relate to that heavy. Male loneliness is the invisible plague that kills us all. And only one real way to get past it. It's, it is to get some weird level of success. This is the only way I've seen get some weird level of success and then start trying to get put yourself out there and starting yourself with people but just always try to show up to a one place consistently it could be a gym it could be a boxing gym like i do it could be 
I mean, not club, I don't know about club, it's a bit of general. Something positive, something group of thing, but even then, just these friends that you make there, they're not going to be your best friends. They're just there to supplement the time that you're there, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's weird, it's, it's so difficult to make friends in the modern day, especially when everyone is just neutral in your life. And think about how weird that is. And you, like, you don't even know if people are friend or foe in, in this day and age. Like, you go on the bus, for example, you go outside, you walk down, walk down the street to the bus stop. You might see a guy at the bus stop there, you might talk a little, but he's neutral. Like, it's like you're completely visible to him and he's completely visible to you. You go on the bus, your bus might be packed, you you know, you move past some people, you move up, you sit down, you get a scare seat down at like, your seat and it might be packed or it might be empty. Irregardless, everyone's neutral. Everyone knows it doesn't care. Like everyone's just keeping to themselves, focus on themselves. No one is sociable. No one is. How do I say this? Particularly friendly. It's, just, it's weird. You, know, you go. You go to a gym, for example. Uh, I, I remember when I was going to a commercial gym, most people were like, I used to make some friends there. But most people were like alienating and like, unsocial as fuck. Obviously working on their own shit, of course, but everyone for the most part was neutral. And the boxing gym is different because there's a bit more of a close-knit community, especially with, with me. I talk to a lot of people, I'm very chatty. I talk quite a lot. Even though these people won't be like my friend friends. They won't be my best friends. I don't know. I'm actually interested in how I can actually develop this topic further in order to try to seek a remedy. But honestly, I don't see one. A cure for male loneliness. I might watch a Hamza video about it so I can further develop my point or like a first man video. But in all seriousness or honesty, I don't see. The end to this male loneliness, I think, will plague us forever unless you reach the level of success. It's kind of like materialistic or some awesome shit. But unless you reach some level of achievement and success where you then can surround yourself with people that will love, respect, and admire you, then you can slowly break through the veil of loneliness. But maybe if you get kids, a family, Maybe your wife might not want to have sex. <laughs> she might take the kids. She might divorce your ass. <laughs> it's very common in this day and age. Uh, um, just it's weird. Catch you guys in the next video, Subi.